In today's topic, we will discuss search engines and searching techniques. Almost all of you might have used Google to search for different things for images, movies, games, or some educational content. Do you know that when you search on Google, there are number of things which could help you to retrieve the most relevant information. Such of things would be discussed in today's and in next few lectures. So in, in the world, there are many different search engines available. For example, Google, Bing, Yahoo. So you can search content on the internet using any of these search engines and there are some other search engines as well but these three are most widely used but you can see in the diagram that google has captured more than 90 percent of the market share so which means google is being used by more than 90 percent of the users in the world so which makes Google as the best choice to explore for searching. But I am not restricting you to search on Bing or Yahoo. You can search on Bing and Yahoo as well to see the differences of the research results. So you are aware of this screen. And this screen is retrieved with when you enter https colon slash slash www.google.com in the web browser. The first four letters HTTP is a hyper transfer protocol, hypertext transfer protocol, which is a principle of discussing or retrieving data between your browser and the application and s means the secure transaction which means the data which will be flowing between your browser and the application will be encrypted so in between no one could be able to understand what is going from your browser and what is coming into your browser from the application and when you uh, go in this screen on Google then you can perform your required searches and in today's lecture we will discuss that what are different search tips which will help you to properly formulate your query to retrieve most relevant results. So for example one of the thing is so for example you want to search airport nearest to your location. So if you write airport in the Google search query, then let's see what happens. So when I enter airport in the search query, it has given me billion of results. And for example, airport in the Wikipedia, Jinnah International Airport, Karachi, Alama Iqbal International Airport and so on. So you were interested to search airport in that is closest to your area so first of all you should understand the science behind searching whatever keyword you enter in the google it tries to find pages which have such kind of words in trillion of pages that is indexed by the search engine so it will give you the rank list of those urls which have the most popularity among the community. So it has identified, for example, airport Wikipedia as one of the most highly ranked web page for your search query. But you were not interested to identify airport in Wikipedia, which will explain you what is the airport. But you were interested to find where is the closest airport into your location so let's try to change the query to reformulate it in a different way so here i have changed the query 
वेयर इज द क्लोजेस्ट एयरपोर्ट सो नाउ गूगल हैज ट्राइड टू आइडेंटिफाइड माय करंट लोकेशन एंड इन माय करंट लोकेशन व्हाट इज द मोस्ट क्लोजेस्ट एयरपोर्ट अवेलेबल सो इट हैज आइडेंटिफाइड दैट अलामा इकबाल इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट इज द क्लोजेस्ट टू मी and i can also find the directions so if i click on the direction it will give me that which path it will follow from my current location to that particular location and what would be the easiest route to reach there by using bus by walk by bicycle or other options are by bus so you can search it in a, in this way so the first tip is that you should use relevant and simple terms whatever comes into your mind for the thing which you want to search another tip is that if you are interested to identify some particular thing but in a particular location then you should try to add that particular location into your query for example virtual university has number of campuses throughout the pakistan and even outside pakistan if you are interested to search virtual university in islamabad and you think that as i am available in islamabad and if i write only virtual university it will find me the virtual university in islamabad that would be a mistake you should add that particular location into your query specifically so for example you should write virtual university islamabad so then it will give you virtual university campuses in islamabad so these would be the search results and here are the directions you can reach how you can reach there and the websites related to your search query another important thing is that you should not be worried about spellings so for example i have searched virtual university and let's change the spelling of virtual by omitting t even then google can recognize that you might be interested to identify virtual university of pakistan and it has identified the right thing which was in your mind but by mistake you have made a small spelling mistake so you should not uh, worry about small spelling mistakes during your query so those small spelling mistakes would be corrected by google as we have tried some queries and now we are tired of typing so google have given you another option that you can search by using voice so on google you can see that there is a small option available which i am highlighting of microphone so by clicking on the microphone you can speak and then your query will be translated into text and that text will be searched over the internet so here i also want to share you another interesting uh, thing on google that you can flip a coin so for example you want to flip a coin but you don't have coin with you google has given this option that you can speak here flip a coin and then google can flip a coin for you immediately and can give you the result so for example when i speak here flip a coin it has given me tail so you can also try maybe it will give you head or tail so when you are tired you can try this option as well to speak and then you should also choose words carefully for example if you have a headache you you can use word like head hurts so if you use word like head hurts so that word might not might not be available on the web pages from where you want to search so medically when head hurts it is known as headache so if you write the right word headache then it, the relevant information will be retrieved similarly if you search head virtual university so head virtual university 
can give you the address of head office of virtual university. So you should type rector virtual university, which will give you right information. So similarly, you can try some other um, uh, um, examples which I have given here. So always try to use the relevant words. And then you should not also be worried about the capitalization. You can use, uh, you can type all the letters as capital or uh, all the letters as small. It will not create any effect while you're searching the query. And to summarize that we have today understood and uh, have given introduction about search engines and what are some of the tips to use search engines. And in upcoming lectures, we will be focusing on other aspects and other research tips to search on the Google search engine. Thank you very much.